In this video, let me show you the difference between map method and for each method in JavaScript. These two methods are used to iterate over an array, but they work differently. The map method is used to create a new array after executing a function on each element in the array, whereas for each element also executes a function on each element in the array, but it does not return anything. So let's see the difference between these two methods methods that is map method and for each method by using an array. So let me add the code in the head section in the script part that is javascript code and let me define an array. So let me define the array like let my arr equals 1, 3, 4, 7, 8 and 9. This is our array. Now I am going to use the map method first. So the map method returns a new array executing a specified function on each element. So let's try to display the result in the console. Okay. So first let me access the array and let me use the map method and we need to pass the function to be executed on each element. So let me specify function and we are passing the value that is the value in the array. You can name it as you want and within the function let me specify return value plus equals 10 which means that 10 will be added to each element in the array so this will be 11 13 14 17 18 and 19 right so i have already specified console.log so it will be displayed in the console let me save this and show you the output this is the page let me refresh see we are seeing an array of six elements and we are seeing the value like 11 13 14 17 18 and 19 that is 10 is added to each value in the array and we are getting a new array suppose i just specify here result array okay and let me also try to display our current now suppose here i specify result array that is this is a new result array and also let me display our my array that is existing array let me specify existing array and my arr okay just to see what happens to the existing array let me put a semicolon here okay now let me refresh Result array is 11, 13, 14, 17, 18 and 19 and the existing array is 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9 which means that nothing has happened to the existing array that is the current array is not modified instead it is returning a new array with the values created after calling the function on each and every element. Now let's try to do the same using for each method okay. So here let me specify console.log result array. Okay, here put a plus and let me again write my ARR. This time we are going to use the for each method, right? So for each, this is also having a callback function which will be executed on each and every element in the array. So instead of value, this time let me specify item. Okay, and here let me specify return item plus equals 10. We are writing the same code, but the difference is that here we have used map method and here we have used for each method. Now let me save this, refresh. See, we are seeing result array as undefined. So the main difference between map method and for each method is that the map method returns a new array whereas for each method does not return anything. So if I specify console.log existing array, we will see the same output. Let me show you that as well. So here... Let me specify the same that is existing array. Refresh. See existing array is the same but this for each method is not returning anything. So when we can use this for each method then suppose we want to add all the elements in the array to get a value. That is suppose I specify here let sum equal to 0. Okay and instead of return item plus equals 10 let me specify sum plus equals item that is the value should be added to this sum variable so first time it will be 0 then 1 will be added then to 1 3 will be added like that it will be added so let me save this and try to display some value so let me remove this console.log from here and also this bracket 
and here let me display some value now let me save this let me refresh see sum is 32 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 4 8 15 23 plus 9 32 so this for each method cannot be used if we want to return something for each can be used if we want to execute something on each and every element but that value will not be returned as we have seen in map method then another difference between map and for each is that as for each is not returning anything it is actually returning undefined we can chain methods with map method that is after calling the map method, if we want to use some other methods on the same array like filter method or reduce method, we can use it with map method as it returns a new array but we cannot do it with for each method because it is returning undefined. So map method is chainable whereas for each method is not chainable. So these are the main differences between map method and for each method. Both these methods are used to iterate over arrays but map method returns a new array after calling the specified function on each element in the array whereas for each method returns undefined though it can be used to call a function or execute a function on each and every element in the array and also map method is chainable whereas for each method is not chainable because for each method returns undefined.